Alright guys, I'm back, and I did a ton of heckin' building here for my upgraded little base here. I'm not really too keen about these the roof little bit right here where it kind of sticks out. I feel like it sticks out a little bit more. I wish I wish I could make the, the, the sloped roofs be like the half of this, like right where that little wood is there in the middle. I wish I could stop like right there. It kind of sticks out a little bit too much for my liking, but either way, I feel like it, it looks a little bit better when it sticks out like this than where it's like flush with the, uh, the wall there, so that's why I kept that. Then of course the overhang here on the sides we kept that uh this is a little bit uneven there if you i think i'll be able to might be able to jump on the roof from the ground here uh ah, a little bit close right there but yeah the, the roof is uneven because sometimes you could place the roof like like level with the actual sloped roof right there and sometimes like level with the actual like half slab roof whatever you want to call that right there so sometimes it'd be uneven so uh can't really fix that unfortunately but you can see it right here it looks it looks kind of cool i did get a comment like a few episodes ago actually saying that uh, my house kind of reminds them of the heckin little little van from dumb and dumber so that was kind of funny because it, it definitely does look with the little dog ears kind of flapping on the sides and stuff like that it kind of looks like that with the thatch right but i think this looks actually pretty cool and of course we have the windows on each side each each four sides and of course in the front we have two windows there uh, i did build this thing right here is an S plus converter table. If you guys watch my previous series, you guys already know about the same. If you already know about S plus, but uh, S plus basically is a mod where you could pick things up, place them down. It's better for building buildings and stuff like that. You know, it's a little bit easier. And of course, if I place a regular ver or if I craft a regular like wood foundation, and I'd rather have an S plus version of it, I could just place it in this building, hit this little convert button right here. That'd be convert if there's actually something in there, and then it'll turn it into an S plus wood foundation. I could just place it back down. And it'd be an S plus version of it. Easy peasy, no problem. So easy peasy there, and of course, here in the middle I have an S plus crafting station, so if I want to craft anything like at all, I can craft it here and it automatically make the S plus version of it, so that's really handy. And I thought, you know what, to save a little bit of space I'll just put the campfire on top of that, just cause why not? <laughs> and then of course this is just cooking up a little bit of meat, stuff like that. We have some cooked, or uh, some raw, regular meat and raw fish meat right there cooking, so that's good. Uh, back here we have a ladder that goes to the roof, mainly made this so I could actually make the, so I could place down the, the sloped roof a little bit easier but i guess we could use this for storage here in the future unfortunately it's a little bit too cramped to put these large storage boxes down here so if i wanted to use this for storage i'd have to use it for the regular the smaller storage boxes but not, not necessarily a bad thing i did this back my uh, i think on the center right i, I used the R, the uh the the attic for like a little bit of storage not too much storage though speaking of storage i did make three more storage boxes over here. I think we just had these two when I last left off. This original one over here is now for epic loot, so you know, all the all the stuff we got from the Megalodon slash to Toxic Megalodon slash whatever dropped that stuff in the, uh, in the, in the rivers there. And then over here, I just, I had so many saddles. I was like, you know what, I might as well make a dedicated storage box for saddles. Because, I'm like, we have, how much is that? 32 saddles right there, so that's already third of the filled up right there, sheesh. This one's already two thirds filled up. If I put the saddles over here, it'd be completely full. We have the extra backpack over there, so that's cool if I ever, you know, if I die and I want to have extra carry weight, that's always good to have right there. And of course, these three over here are just for resources. Currently only have uh, these like a little bit of resources over here not using these here to completely empty right now but of course as i grab more wood and, and thatch and whatever else it'll, it'll slowly fill it up more but thankfully because i have that like ultra stacks mod or whatever it's taking up way less like slots than normal because like uh, right here with the 1255 fiber i think it stacks normally to 200 or something like that so this is currently saving me like five stacks worth or five slots worth of uh of, of like room <laughs> five slots of slots sheesh uh, but it basically saved me like five slots of room in this large storage box by stacking up together in just one little slot right there so that's very helpful because of course more resources take up more room and i i assume because that just has 1784 right there i don't know what number this max is out at and uh, maybe i'll find out a little bit later but maybe i won't need more than just one of these resources boxes you guys holy heck anyways i have three of them just because i'm like why not just in case i need it right but i did end up making that metal storage box over here like i said before i paused the recording i was like you know what i'm gonna make it but turns out it has almost the same amount of storage slots as a regular large storage box over here these have 90 the the metal one has a hundred I feel like the main like perk of making the metal version of this is just so it's a little bit more durable so if you're in like pvp or whatever you, it won't break as easily you know it's only at like tw I guess 2400 durability which isn't really that much but at the same time it's made out of metal compared to uh well this is 2400 durability as well so I, I honestly don't see the appeal of this 
But I, I, I do kind of want to demolish it, get a little bit of the materials back. Just because I feel like it's not really worth the, the the metal and all the other stuff I put into it. I might if I'm going to be spending metal and stuff like that, I might as well just make a vault at that point, especially because that does take up basically the same amount of room as a vault, uh, at least horizontally, right? So uh, I, I'll just I'll just keep the metal and I'll make a vault a little bit later when I have the resources. I might be able to make one somewhat soon, honestly, because we do have that metal over there. I might go over there and grab more metal. Maybe the uh, metals respawned over there. But either way, I. Uh, yeah, I, I made two more refining forges over here. I think we had one when I last, last left off. Made two more. That way we could smelt, uh, you know, three metal ingots at a time, make it a lot faster. And then over here is the smithy. Nothing inside there because we put all the blueprints inside of here. The bookshelf, I think when I last left off, it was outside. But I moved it back inside, moved all the bookshelves, and, or uh, the blueprints inside there. So that's super handy. Over here we have our bed. I think I might have placed that down on camera. And I think that should cover everything. Oh, yeah, and then out uh, here... Uh, oh, I made a uh, I made a cooking pot mainly because I wanted to color the torches over here, the standing torches. They're originally like kind of an orange tint, so at like nighttime everything looks all orangey and stuff. I colored these white with white dye. I made that in the cooking pot, so it it, it looks a little bit more normal during the nighttime. It looks like daylight during the nighttime, you know. It's it just easier on the eyes, I guess you could say. I I did make a preserving bin over here. I haven't put uh, spark powder over here just yet because I think I used. Almost all, if not all, of my spark powder. Did I use it all in the forges? Uh, no, I have a little bit right there. I might as well grab that and put that up in, yeah, inside of the uh, preserving bin. Just so I could have my, uh, my my cooked meat, as well as my berries over here. You know, the important berries. The narca berries, the stem berries right there, and of course, miho berries. I'm going to put those over there. Speaking of berries, over here was the original uh, S-plus storage box. Instead of just demolishing it and getting some of the materials back, I decided to move it out here next to the farm, or at least, you know, where the farm basically is starting. I kind of want to upgrade this to have actual, you know, foundations and stuff like that. I'll do that a little bit later, maybe off camera. But right now, uh, it's, it's here next to the farm area. I'm just using it for storage for all the uh, different seeds. We have, you know, vegetable seeds, berry seeds, all that kind of stuff. So that way I can easily get to it if I ever need it. So that's super duper handy. And I think that should cover everything. Oh yeah, and then I, I put two more torches in the back. I don't know if I mentioned that yet, but we have one right there. And we have another one over there. Of course, dyed white. It's just like the other ones. So that way, everything's going to be nice and lit up. And it's going to be super easy to find at nighttime. So that's good. Uh, I did also notice, you might be asking, oh, why are you not wearing the backpack anymore? I noticed that the backpack gives you more buffs than just carry weight. You guys might have noticed if you, if you have a keen eye. But if I put that on, not only does carry weight double, but crafting skill doubles at the same time. And I think mainly damage goes up by a little bit as well. So if I take that off... Melee damage goes back down to 190%. If I put that back on, you can see melee damage goes up to 237.5. It's currently at 190 at the baseline. It still goes up by the 47.5% that the uh, the carry weight went up by. Which, by the way, I I went up. Uh, I did a level up on carry weight, so now we're up to 200 pounds of carry weight instead of 190. You guys remember when I had 190 pounds of carry weight? Putting on the regular backpack gave us 47.5 more pounds of carry weight or something like that. So that's kind of interesting. So I guess I guess that not only does the backpack like buff the baseline, but it does it for not only weight, but melee damage and crafting skill. Crafting skill doubled, carry weight doubled, melee damage went up by a percentage of the baseline or whatever it calculates as. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, of course, if I take that or if I get out of that and then go to that. If we look on the bottom, bottom right hand corner, I didn't notice it was this whenever I first saw it, but increased max weight stat and crafting speed and melee damage i didn't even notice that yeah melee damage goes up by a little bit as well so that's super duper handy so i'll still level up melee damage i'm not really going to be like oh yeah uh, 237 percent i'm not going to level it up anymore i'll still level it up just because it does go up alongside the backpack but that's good to know that it does get buffed alongside the weight and crafting skill but what i'm really curious about and i already unlocked the engram off camera i wanted to make a crossbow if I make a crossbow, oh, and by the way, there's also an improved crossbow plus, but it requires 10 crystal, and we don't have any crystal right now, so we can't make that just yet. And it also requires the weapon workbench, and I I don't know how you make that. I might have to look that up here in just a moment. An improved version of the original crossbow somehow is easy to handle, and you can load a lot faster. Uses fiberglass arrows and can fire underwater. I'm pretty sure the regular crossbow you could fire underwater anyways. Yeah, this one says it can fire underwater as well. Oh, it's probably just saying that just because it's just a regular crossbow, so it's just kind of carrying over. Okay, that makes sense. But I do want to see if I make the crossbow over here. Crossbow. If I make that, and we have 400% crafting skill, is that going to be... 
like the third, like higher, the third level of the hierarchy, maybe? Like if I have 200% crafting skill, would that give me a ramshackle? If I have 300%, it'd give me whatever's after that. If I have 400%, it'd give me whatever's after that. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, so I do have enough stuff to make the crossbow. Let's see what we get. Are we going to get just a regular baseline 100% uh, weapon damage crossbow? Or are we going to get a, a ramshackle version or uh, whatever's after that? Or Okay, so we get a regular one. We get a primitive one. I thought we... I thought that'd go up after you craft it. So what's the point of crafting skill if it doesn't go up after that? Uh... I don't know. Or maybe... Maybe it only works. So if I'm... What if I make like a spear? Or what else can I make in my inventory right now? I don't know. A club? <laughs> Let's make a slingshot. I've, I, I, I've, I said I wanted to make one earlier on. Let's just make one. Is that going to be baseline? Oh, it is baseline. So what's the point of having a heightened crafting skill then? If you're not going to have a better, like, maybe just ups to percent chance that you'll have an upgraded version of it. Or maybe if I actually do upgrade it at the upgrade station, which I think I also unlocked. Hold on. Upgrade. Uh, because I wanted to make it off camera, but I was like, oh, I'm going to make it whenever I come on camera. Yeah, okay, so you need 10 raw metal, 20 hide, 50 stone, and 30 wood. So this is, of course, where we're going to upgrade our tools, armors, and all that. Armor and all that kind of stuff, you know. So we're going to need that a little bit. Oh, wait. 10 raw metal. We might have some leftover. We have nine. Are you kidding me? <laughs> let's go outside. Let's go break like a rock and see if we get that one last metal. Uh, unfortunately, I already broke a lot of the, the river rocks we have over here, so it's not going to give us any metal, but we might be able to make that upgrade station like basically right now if I can. Oh, here's a big rock over here. Let's go break that thing. Uh, you might be able to make that here like right now, basically. Let's see. Let's break this thing with a regular. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wait. We didn't get any metal from that. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got a metal and that's all. Oh, Speaking of metal, we do have like a bunch of metal over there, you guys remember. I just mined that with my Turan on. What level is this one? 250 something? Level 252 Ankylo. Kinda wanna tame a level 300 something. Look at me being greedy. <laughs> Look at me being like, oh yeah, 252 or whatever. Pfft, trash. I don't even care about that. That's over the heckin' like level limit of like uh my previous series and stuff, but pfft. What's level 252 anyways, right? Jeez. <laughs> but of course I can passively tame it. I don't even need to knock it out or anything like that. So I might just resort to passively tame it. But I don't know if I have any meal berries. Because if I did have any, I might have already used them all. And if I didn't, then they probably spoiled away by now, right? So that kind of sucks. But let's see if I can make the upgrade station. So where would that be? Oh, is that it right there? Yeah, there it is right there. Can I make that right now? Okay, I can. That's good. All right. I don't know where I'll be able to slip it in, though. Uh, maybe right here. And slip that like right next to my bed basically and i stand on the smithy oh here we go here we go here we go basically like, right next to the uh blueprint thing there we go all right so if you guys don't know the upgrade station you're able to salvage items here similar to a grinder which is super duper handy because of course like a grinder is a little bit more expensive but it might be op some of you guys might be like okay that's op as heck but at the same time upgrade station you're able to upgrade things here too so if i want to upgrade my hatchet uh, it requires 17 hide, 14 metal ingots, and 2 wood. And I think I can afford that right now, honestly. I might be able to upgrade that. But, unfortunately, the crossbow, I thought that'd go up. Maybe, maybe, crafting skill, maybe that, if I'm upgrading something, maybe that's where it comes into a play. Huh. Perhaps. I do have a low level. Let's give it the melee damage, sure. Was that, like, was that go up to now? 243.8. So it's currently at... 200%? No, 195. Okay, I was about to say 200%. That's kind of a weird number right there. Maybe uh, when I hit 200%, it's going to go up by 50%, and it'll be 250% right there. Maybe that's what it goes by. I don't know. Either way, if I want to upgrade this crossbow, ah, 12 metal ingots, 50. And we might be able to afford that. I think I had like 14 metal ingots over here, right? Uh, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to make a... Yeah, we have 14 right there. Kyle was thinking like making a sword... Oh... It's 50 metal mega sword, right? But at the same time, this 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 primal pike does probably more damage than a sword would do baseline, because it is ramshackle. Maybe for now I'll just skip out on making a sword, because we do have this ramshackle primal pike. And if I'm going to be killing something, knocking it out is not necessarily a bad thing. Unless I want to, you know, kill it and actually get whatever it drops. Because usually whenever you kill something while it's knocked out, it won't drop like whatever loot it has. Like if I killed like that toxic megalodon by knocking it out first and then killing it, it won't drop like the epic loot. I'm pretty sure that it just using that as an example. But either way, I guess we could up or at least try to upgrade this this, this crossbow because I did want to make oh up, attempt upgrade. 
Uh, 59 fiber, 17 wood. Let's go see if we have that oak here. Should. <laughs> like, it's super duper cheap. It's basically nothing. Yeah, 59 wood or whatever. Let's just grab that. Let's just grab, like, 60. A bunch of fiber. Let's grab a bunch of that. Let's grab, like, 60 of that. I don't know what the exact numbers were, but let's just grab a little bit of each. And see if we can upgrade that. And I f Ooh, yeah! There is always that chance that you fail an upgrade. And, of course, lose 10% of the items in the process. And now I need a little bit of fiber again. <laughs> All right, let's grab some of that fiber back. See if we get a little bit. Oh, gosh. That's, what we could do with these saddles is, is salvage them. We have repeats here with the Toxic Direwolf. Toxic Direwolf. We could salvage those and see if we get anything good out of them. Because, of course, whenever you salvage something, you usually get, like, a fourth of the items back or something like that, right? Uh, okay, there we go. There is a successful upgrade. So it went from 100% damage, weapon damage percent, up to 165.7. Not bad. Oh, yeah, I need to, uh... Let's pick that up. Hold on. I need to move that a little bit because there is a thing I think I also unlocked it called a an art or a, a re, what's it called again? It's like a reagent or something. Upgrade station. Where is it? Right here. Augmentation station. Yeah. There's a little uh, or a little add-on for the upgrade station called the augmentation station, and you can kind of like specifically upgrade certain aspects of armor or weapons or whatever. So I need to have this little space open for that thing. Uh, I don't know what you need to craft it though. Is that it right there? I should be able to craft it right. Yeah, there we go. Boom. But of course, the uh, the little things do cost a lot of resources, like 50 metal and other stuff. Yeah, 25 polymer right there. Uh, that's kind of cheap for that one. What was that one? Durability. and eh, not really too important there. Where's the damage reagent? Yeah, 50 metal, 25 charcoal, 50 hide, 50 uh, fiber. So, decently expensive, at least, you know, especially early game like this. So, if I want to, like make my pickaxe do more, or, uh, make my, I guess, my pickaxe too, and that way I get more metal and stuff when I harvest that, but to up the, uh, weapon damage of my pike, if I wanted to specifically upgrade that rather than upgrading everything as a whole, then I can make one of these damage reagents, apply it to my ramshackle primal pike, and suddenly instead of 288% weapon damage, it does like 310% or whatever, you know, so that's kind of, that's kind of the upside of doing that, because it, it'll make it a little bit more you get a little bit more flexibility, more freedom in what you're upgrading, you know. So that's that's awesome here in the future. But for right now, do I wanna do I wanna salvage some of the extra stuff here, like these pikes, like the low damage percent, like 115 percent damage, 180, three, whoa, three, four, whoa! I didn't even know we had any. This one's 288. I don't know why that one's in my hotbar. That's kind of weird. This one's 288 percent, but this one's 310, 347. Yeah, let's replace that one, Ada. Sheesh, yeah, forget about that one. Let's get that 347. That's going to be great. It's going to be not only dealing out more damage, but more torpor, I'm sure, too. Another 324, 310, 214, 235, 247, 203, 231, 18. Let's get rid of everything under 200%. I feel like that's going to be great. Another 230 right there. Sheesh, we have a lot of stuff here, you guys. Man, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff we can salvage. And of course, we, yeah, we have this extra pick. We have this extra hatchet. I kind of want to keep it just in case I want to... If I, You know, if I die, at least I'll have an extra metal pick and an extra metal hatchet. I'll be able to just use right off the bat, you know? But these other things, these low-level pikes, I kind of just for... Oh, gosh, I don't want to get rid of that 288% right there. Sheesh, ramp shackle, at least. Don't want to get rid of that. But for curiosity's sake, if I salvage these, these primal pikes... What am I going to get out of it? So, salvage item. Okay, so we get a little bit of hide, a little bit of metal, a little bit of obsidian, and a little bit of potent narcotics, a little bit of wood, too. Not too bad. I'd say that's that doesn't seem too bad. I'm like, we're essentially getting four metal, ten hide, two obsidian, two potent narcotics, and two wood from a megalodon randomly. But at the same time, like, everything else into account, like, how high level everything is, how expensive everything is in this mod, or mod pack, I guess you could say, it, it doesn't seem too OP. I just need to get adjusted to how everything is with all the mods, like, together with, like, uh, not Extinction Core, but, like, prior, uh, Primal Fear and Pugnation and all that kind of stuff. I just need to get used to all that stuff. I still need to find some crystal, though. I feel like if I get, especially now that I have Tyrannodons, I should be able to fly to, like, a mountaintop. And find some crystal pretty easily. There we go. We have the uh, the, the crossbow. No, so I, I I just get rid of the regular bow, and let's get a little bit of ammunition for the bow. I'll probably get rid of the uh, the slingshot because I don't think I'm going to use that honestly. <laughs> let's get rid of that, and let's see if we can find some ammunition for this. So we have a uh, we, we have regular stone arrows here. I guess I'll keep that just because why not? But if I want to knock something out, like I'm on the on the move on the fly, potent rank arrows, and of course these toxic ones are a little bit better. So we have ten 
potent shrink arrows, and then five toxic shrink. That sounds good. And of course, 25 regulars. That doesn't sound too bad. Let's, let's just make a folder called ammo. I assume we're not going to die. <laughs> Knock on wood. I assume we're not going to die anytime soon, right? So hopefully I don't need to remake these uh, folders anytime soon. Hopefully. Uh, and then, of course, let's make another folder called drugs with a Z because we're cool. And let's put... Uh, Let's put the tame helpers in there. Where are those at? That's 500. I don't think I want to carry those on me. Healing stews, those are always good. Let's let's grab like 20. Yeah, let's grab like 25. That sounds like a good enough. Let's just, let's just keep that on me. How much does that weigh? Eh, basically nothing. Especially with the backpack. We have 400 pounds carry weight now. That's good. Uh, where's the tame helpers at? There we go. Let's, yeah, let's keep five. We only need like, what, three for the Tyranon? The level 308 or whatever. We're just 407 after a tame bonus. Sheesh. We only need like three for that one. So having five on us at all times, not that bad, honestly. Uh, anything else here worthwhile? That's another. Yeah, that's the 50, times 50 tame helpers. I don't have a Lonic rifle yet, so I can't take use of the toxic tranquilizer dart. Uh, I'm just upgrading to the crossbow, at least for right now. It's going to be an intermediary bef between the, the regular bow and, of course, a, a Lonic rifle. We'll worry about that a little bit later. And, of course, we also have Toxic Trank Bullets. High-caliber Trank Bullet, which is 18 times more powerful than a Trank Dart. Hold on, Trank Dart. That's Toxic Trank Dart. Potent Trank Dart. So I assume that's just baseline Trank Dart, then, huh? So I guess this is basically the same thing as a Toxic Tranquilizer Dart, then, huh? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, uh, oh yeah, since we have that new Turan on, where's our XP at? That's a medium, right? Yeah, that's medium. There's small right there. Okay, let's grab a small. Since we already gave a small experience potion to our other one, this level 385, let's give one to this one. Just because why not, right? So there we go. It had 8 level ups, now it's up to 19, so we got 11 level ups right there, not bad. So this one's melee damage is 685, movement speed 150, weight 630, 5000 health. It seems really close to this one. Oh, this one has a couple level ups too. Uh, let's give it a couple of health. There we go. Almost 10,000 health. I like that number. Uh, this one has 260 m movement speed. If I give this movement speed... Oh gosh, it goes up by like 60% there. Sheesh. Let's give it another one. It'll, it'll exceed the other one's uh, movement speed. Sheesh. Uh, the other one has like 1,200 pounds of carry weight. Let's at least match that. The other one has just one level up away from 10,000 health. Is this one able to exceed that? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, 10,000 right there. Do I have anything else I want to do, like stamina maybe? Or maybe more carry, or maybe melee damage, 685 compared to... 6, oh jeez, they have the same I can... This one's like 0.3 points lower, or a percent lower. Let's give it one level up. Oh gosh, it goes by like 60% there too, sheesh. That's actually really good. Kinda wanna do another movement speed. Let's do another move. let's do another couple movements. So it was almost at 400% movement speed with 1200 pounds of carry weight. That's really, really, this is a really good utility type critter. Is that a Brano above me? Or Brachia, which one is this one? That's Brano, okay. Kinda thinking about taming one of these things. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bit later. I assume I can turn that Brano into a Brachio, just like that one trike had that Ceracosaurus little costume, little crafting thing you could do. But for right now, I'm getting all my terrain on. I kinda wanna, how are we doing carry weight wise? Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> We're only at 55 pounds right now, sheesh. Yeah, I cleaned out my inventory a ton. But kinda thinking about, like, looking at the mountains and stuff. I know over here, was it over here? I think so. Oh gosh, we have a we have a drop over there. Whoa, let's see what that hat that that oh gosh, I hit the water and I got dismounted. Uh we have a we have, oh gosh, it happened again. Oh point off point Oh there we go, okay. <sighs> Didn't get dismounted like right above a megalodon, that's good. <laughs> but we have a heckin' supply drop right here. I'm kinda curious, like we're able to get the other one. Didn't really have anything. Gotta wait for this one to kinda Settle. Oh, here we go, here we go. Are we going to get anything for this one? Oh, we got a, uh, a Carnoway. Now, there was, I talked about it earlier, and a uh, metal foundation, metal ceiling. Not bad, I can salvage those, get a little bit of metal. That's good. Uh, kibble something. Yeah, here we go. Automatic art kibble station. 15 raw metal and 75 wood. Used to make the kibbles that only require eggs. I wonder if that also includes, like, the kibble overhaul that happened, like, nine months ago or whatever by now. Or... That yeah, happened like, what, March or something like that? So like, I don't know, like six months ago or something? Anyways, I don't want to just land here and get a little bit of metal for the, uh, for the, whatever that thing was, the, uh, the kibble thing or whatever. Might as well get a little bit of the raw metal for that thing. Then I'll be able to afford it. I'm like, I'm getting a ton of metal here and some of the metal here, I don't remember if I already mined it before or if I already, or uh, if it's like respawning or whatever here, but I might as well grab whatever's here. Even if it's respawned or not yet. Especially because we, I mean, like, we did get distracted by that one griffin, so... Wouldn't be too surprised if I never ended up getting all the, uh, the metal here before I actually left. 
Looks like we hit the dead end there, though, so that's good. Well, good and bad. I wish I had more, like, unlimited metal. That'd be always good, but at least we kind of hit the dead end there. We just kind of head this way now. Look at all the heckin' metal here, though. I'm like, it, it had to have respawned by now, because I'm pretty sure I would have gotten at least... It looks like none of the metal here is missing, you know? It straight up looks like it's all just respawned, which is great. Because I'm going to be getting even more ink and metal, which is great. I wonder how much we have right now. We're at 259, not too bad. So I'll just grab a little bit more right there. Not bad, not bad. We're getting about like 30 or 40-ish per like vein, rock thing, whatever here. Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> poo bad. Jeez, stupid. Put that up there. Just kind of alleviate some of the carry weight. Even though this does already weigh less than normal, which I'm not really complaining about the fun But I'll just... How much do we have right there? I don't even remember. I thought I, I literally just asked like, oh yeah, how much do we have? And I didn't even pay attention. Sheesh. How much does I have? 342. So we have almost 500 if I get like one more. We'll have like basically five. Or basically, you know, 250. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Basically 250 uh, actual ingots. Once I do smelt this down because it does two smelt, uh, two ingots per, no, two raw metal per ingot. Jeez. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but uh, I'm getting like another 100 right there. Basically 50 more ingots. Pretty good. Look at this! Is, it here? is that two or is this just one? Oh, there was just one, but it was massive. It only gave me 66 metal, though. Basically, 33 actual ingots. Not too bad. We got even more from that one, and that one seems like it was even smaller. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, this is probably, like, the last one of this little, like, like crevice slash, like, I don't even, I still don't know what you'd even call this area over here. But it's got a ton of heck of metal, which is great. Now, for crystal, though. Oh, there's a little bit. I think I missed a spot right there, it looks like. But for crystal, usually you find that like in mountains, slash hills, slash... Is that another one under that, or is this the same? Okay, it was just the same one. Okay, whatever. Not too bad. But usually you find those like mountains and hills and stuff like that. So maybe we'll go to the top of this thing and see if we can find some crystal. And of course use that for like a spy or an awesome spyglass or something like that. I guess I'll put those up just because why not? Kibble. I don't know if he's going to eat it, so I'll just keep that in my inventory for right now. But uh, let's see. What else we... Oh yeah, is that one back there? No, I thought there was one hidden back there. I don't think there's any more over here, though. I doubt Crystal's going to spawn there. Let's just keep going up, see if we can find any up here, though. Oh, Basilisk right there. Definitely going to want to watch out for that thing. That thing is... Is that thing out? Oh, God, it is. Oh, jeez, did we just get hit? Oh, yep, Torpidity's rising right now. Oh, man, I don't have any, like, stimulants. Okay, well, let's just hope this Torpidity doesn't keep going up. Okay, it's already going down. That's good. Jeez, random heckin' bait. Yeah, look at that thing right there, right above my Tyrannos, like, little head thing. <laughs> the little, like, three tendrils of the basilisk sticking out of the ground right there. Yeah, I need to be really weary of that thing. Sheesh. We're now by no pairs of Ethereum right here, though. Kind of interesting, but not really, uh, anything too... I'm not really too crazy about getting a pair of Ethereum, honestly. Uh, mainly just looking for Chris right now. See, a lot of colorful dinos, though, which is pretty cool. But, uh... Not seeing any crystal here. Pretty cool green Tyrannon right there. I wonder if it's like a toxic Tyrannon. That'd be cool. Any Basilisk here I need to watch out for? I don't think so. I think we're fine. <laughs> now, what is that thing, though? That thing has, like, a weird effect coming out of it. Is that a... What? That's like a Thylacolio with, like, a weird... You guys see that? Like, a, And it looks like that Arthropora has something. Like, a yeah, it has an effect coming out of it as well. I wonder if it's, like, a, an eye or a Glacial? Which, if that's the case, why would it be in this biome? That's kind of strange. Huh. Although we are at the top of the mountain right now, I haven't found any crystal. So maybe I'll just keep going around, see if we can find anything. Seems like a uh, an Echis over there fighting that Piercer Ethereum. Nothing too crazy there. I don't see any crystal here still. And of course, if we do find crystal... What is that thing? That was another... There's an aberrant Piercer Ethereum. Oh, what is that thing? That Piercer Ethereum is like glowing eyes. Is that thing like an... An alpha slash something. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get close enough. Maybe maybe I'll if I if I get enough crystal to make a spyglass. Yeah, I'll, I'll finally find out what like the actual specific name of that thing is. But yeah, not right now though. That sucks. Any uh any more crystal? Any metal? Well, there's a little bit of metal here. Those are grab. It was just a. Is that a giant sail? I can't tell. Oh gosh, I'm like stuck. <laughs> I can't tell. I'm like I'm so I'm such a small ancient alien. I can't really tell. Is that like an a giant one, or... No, it's just a regular, uh, regular snail. Okay, whatever. Let's grab this metal over here, though, just because, why not? It weighs, like, basically nothing. It's in such abundance. Might as well grab it. Might as well make our whole base out of metal at this point. Sheesh. <laughs> like, there's just metal all over the place. But at least we have a pretty consistent, like, source of metal. You know? I'm not going to be, like, scraping by with metal. 
like we were on like episode one, two, and all that kind of stuff, right? Oh, is that a? Is this metal? It is. This thing is huge. How much are we gonna get? Only fifty-three. That's it. That's like nothing. <laughs> Jeez. In total, we have almost a thousand metal, uh, raw metal on this guy or gal, though. So we almost have five hundred ingots right there, which is fantastic. I still haven't found it. Oh God! Literally, right as I see. <laughs> Literally, uh, is this actually crystal or is this, uh, yeah, this is not salt. This is crystal, right? Yep, crystal. Yep, no problem. Although I should probably upgrade, yeah. Probably should have actually upgraded my pickaxe. Probably should have upgraded my hatchet. That way, whenever I do mine stuff, I do get more. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tornadon's fighting something. Sheesh, I'm getting out of there. What in the world was that? That thing was taking a thousand damage per hit. Holy heck. Although I don't think I need to use my healing thing. Oh my gosh, I caught that quick. Okay, well if that happens again, let's keep that in your inventory. Was that, is that the right, yeah, healing stew, let's keep that there. 5% of health, not really, not really too much, honestly. It seems like you regen a little bit faster than that, but oh my gosh. We would have had a dead, uh, oh, that's the, oh, is that, the, that's the basilisk making that weird effect coming out of the ground. What in the world? Now I'm curious about that, sheesh. But is there any crystal up here I missed? What was that thing? There was something attacking my Tyranon just a second ago. Oh, was that it? It was the Thylacolio. It was that, like, weird effect. Okay, we have enough, uh, uh, let's make a spyglass. How much, uh, for the awesome spyglass? Oh, whoops. How much for that? Two okay, just two. Okay, we have way more than enough. Okay, now if I wanted to make that, though, how, what, all, what all else do we need? Just a little bit of hide, wood, and fiber. Do I have that stuff on me, though? We only have the crystal. We don't have any fiber, wood, or hide on us. Okay, let's go home real quick. That's gonna be super quick, especially uh, because I'm like, it is nighttime right now. I might as well head home anyways, because I can barely see here in just a moment. But let's make the awesome spyglass, then we'll finally be able to know, like, the official name. Oh, I passed it. <laughs> the official name of those megalodons, whatever the, like, weird, like, status that a thylacolio was that attacked us right there that's gotta be like a, a primal thylac or an alpha or something like that but it didn't have the cheeto dust so i could assume it was a primal maybe but 940 metal right there sheesh and oh, it barely had done even weigh 50 a thousand metal weighs 50 pounds i think jeez that's gonna be crazy by the way now it's nighttime yeah now you can see what i'm talking about when i said i i dyed the uh the, the torches white because now we have like a white light going on right now rather than everything being orange so it looks a little bit more just regular I guess you could say which is great oh yeah this is one of the downsides of having the torches though is that it has this weird like flickering effect so definitely want to get the uh, like electricity going as soon as we can let's see if we can make like a, a decent amount of spark okay so we can make 15 can I make like 50 though uh, I can make 39 more so eh, I can make 50 in total so that, that's not too bad I suppose but we'll actually be able to start smelting this stuff and oh, 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 oh yeah let's keep Let's keep the... There he goes. Let's go to 310 on all these. I forget what the specific number was for that up, or, uh, that, that kibble station. Okay, so we have eight right there. Uh, kibble. Where do you make that, though? Hold on. Kibble. I do this. AA kibble station. Okay, so you have to make it at the AA workbench. Automatic arc workbench. So workbench. There it is right there. 20 high, 30 wood. That's nothing. Let's make that. Used to make all automatic arc... Uh, items must have control console nearby for polling to function. So control console. So that would be uh, this thing. So I need to be level 86 for this control console thing. Uh, maybe. But I assume I can make this 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 kibble thing first. Hold on. So if I want to make the uh, workbench, what do I need? Yeah, just hide wood. I assume I can make that right now. Let's see. Can I make that work? There it is, right there. Yeah, there it is right there. Let's make it. I wonder how big it is, though, and how, what it looks like. It's not too big. I guess I can put it in this corner for right now. There you go. And now I can make the automatic arc... Oh, I th uh, kibble. Oh, I never even unlocked it. There you go. That's why I couldn't even make it. Jeez. But, uh, now we make the kibble station. Yes. F okay, 15 metal. That's what it required. Okay, and I had some in my inventory. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's put some of them back over here in this. And we should have spark powder done now, so... Uh, yep, 100. Oh, gosh, yeah, I forgot that you make more than just, like, one at a time, sheesh. But, uh, let's put a little bit in each one, just so we have a somewhat of an even amount going on each one, so we can have, uh, there we go. So, we have 36 in each one, split up, even, split up evenly, so that's nice. And let's start lighting each one of them up, getting them all cooking. And did we make this yet? Oh, yep, it's done. Okay, so we have the kibble station there, so if we wanted to make ki oh, gosh. It, like, snaps to the, uh, okay. That kind of, that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. I'd, I'd rather have like the flexibility, the freedom 
of being able to place it down like wherever. Uh, I guess if, if that's the case, I might as well pick up the AA workbench, pick that up, place that down wherever I want, put the uh, kibble thing like right there. I really wish I could orient it a little bit better. Look at that, we have like a rock drake egg there, like a weird rib cage, a weird piece of meat, some other stuff. That's kind of cool. So if I use this, what all do we have here? So is this basically the same? Okay. So this is basically the same. I, I'm like the, 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 the kibble overhaul that happened earlier this year made kibbles a lot easier to craft anyways if I go to the crafting pot uh, cooking pot uh, if I wanted to make a, an extraordinary kibble giant bee honey Lazarus shower that's not anything meal berries that's nothing and then dinosaur egg I forget what size dinosaur egg but yeah the kibbles are way easier to make nowadays and a lot more simplified there's only like five different kibbles you can make right so I feel like maybe this kibble station isn't really necessary unless I want to automate something so, does not require a water source. Okay, so I guess that's not too bad. Can be used as a water source, really? Can I, like, get water out of it? <laughs> That'd be good. Nah, I can't. That'd be kind of cool if I could, though. Uh, what's that say down there? Yeah, water one million out of one million. Sheesh. Okay, yeah, that, that's what I was talking about. Doesn't need to worry about a water source. Uh, Engram, rare, rare flowers. Eat it to gain a tiny amount of nourishment or plant it to grow your own. What? Whoa, I can plant rare flowers now? Is that a mod or is that like a thing? That actually looks like a... Eh, it looks like a mod made that little picture there, honestly. So I can actually grow rare flowers and rare mushrooms now. Whoa. And I just need ten, 10 rare mushrooms or 10 rare flowers to be able to craft, to make like a rare flowers, like, 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 plantable thing. That's cool. Okay, so... I wonder, can I make that in the regular cooking pot? Or is that just for the AA crafting kibble whatever? Uh, vegetable, vegetable cake, not or stew or, yeah, cake. Yeah, it's not even here at the cook, so that's gotta be a part of the mod. That's cool. Okay. I was like, okay, I might, I might just demolish this thing, get some of my resources back, but no, I, I, I guess we'll just keep this here. And it's basically a cooking pot where I can make the kibbles, but I can't make the dyes here, right? Yeah. So I guess I might as well keep that cooking pot so I can make dyes. Although I'm probably never going to make them, right? Uh, for the golden egg, I don't know what we need in terms of like what size egg that is. Imprinting kibble. Feed this to a baby dino right after claiming it to instantly imprint it. Whoa! But I need 30 eggs. That's a lot of eggs. But I don't even know what size. Does it just... Any eggs? Maybe any eggs. I'm, I feel like I could use any type of eggs. So five any eggs to make a regular kibble 12 whatever eggs to make an extraordinary 9 to make an exceptional 7 to make a superior but either way uh, I assume this just uses quantity of eggs rather than like size of eggs like the cooking pot uses right so if I go over here yeah just one dinosaur egg of a specific size one dinosaur egg of a specific size okay so I guess if I have a lot of eggs this AA kibble station crafter thing <laughs> would be very useful. So if I have five just eggs just laying around, I can make a regular kibble. Doesn't matter what eggs they are, I don't need any vegetables. I can make a regular kibble right then and there. And I have like one egg, a Tyranon egg, right? Yeah, I have. I still have that Tyranon egg from like two, two or three episodes ago, so I could use that. So this, this, this kibble thing right here is pretty unique, if you ask me, if that's how it works. I still don't know. I assume any size egg counts, but just the quantity, not the size of egg for this. So that's interesting. And if I wanted to make a golden egg, that's 10. Uh, this pet food recipe has been carefully designed to give balanced nutrition to smaller creatures, including plant fibers, to help the digestion. I don't know what this golden egg is for, then. Uh, maybe you use it for taming? Just like, it, it could be used for any any type of critter, perhaps? I haven't used golden eggs or golden kibbles or anything like that, like, ever. So, uh, if I wanted to make, like, the best kibble, I need... Well, that's an augmented version of it. Uh, 11, 10... Wait, what? Is there no regular exceptional kibble? This one requires 10 eggs, this is 11 eggs, this is 12 eggs, it's kind of strange. And there's no augmented exceptional kibble, but this one requires 9, 7, 8, this one's 6, 6, 3, 4, very interesting, I assume that's how it works. So if I wanted to make a, a basic kibble, I can make a basic kibble right now, right? So if I get that terrain on egg, is that, is that going to like light up and say, okay, you craft this now? Maybe, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay, so I assume any type of egg. That seems that seems to support that, that hypothesis. Okay, and 
This kibble we got from the supply drop is essentially worth five eggs. Because it's a, it's a, it's a regular, or a, uh, what's it called? Yeah, just a regular kibble. Yeah, regular kibble. It's a regular kibble. So that kibble we got from the supply drop was worth five eggs. Interesting. What do you guys think about this, this, this new kibble crafter? It's a little bit different from the, the, the vanilla rehaul of the kibbles they did like, like six, seven, eight months ago or whatever. But I'd say just right off the bat, just looking at it, just glancing over and assuming that's how it works. Like, you know, 10 eggs to make that any size, no matter what, if that's how it works, it doesn't seem overpowered. If you ask me now, if they required like, you know, the miho berries, the honey and all that kind of stuff, you know, it'd feel a little bit more balanced, but because it doesn't require that, then eh, I don't know. It doesn't even require water. It, like, self-contains water, it says. And it's filled up by a million water right now, so... Let me know what you guys think about this. It, it'd make it a little bit more... A little bit easier for requiring kibbles, especially if I have a... Oh, gosh! I accidentally just... Pfft, whoops! Didn't mean to make that kibble right there. I guess I have to go put that thing inside the, uh, the preserving pit. <laughs> ah, didn't mean to make that thing. I meant to hover over it and, like, read it. Now, uh, 29 days. And two days. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that does work with kibbles, then. That's good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this this kibble crafter thing right here. That's kind of interesting how it, how it works there. And honestly, if you ask me, doesn't feel overpowered, assuming that's how it works. And it seems like that's how it works just by that little bit of testing we did with that one uh, Tyranon egg right there. But either way, we can make the, uh, let's see, spyglass. Let's make the awesome spyglass. Should be, yep, there we go. Finally have the awesome spyglass after all the second time. Sheesh. So let's get that thing going. Let's see if we can zoom in on the, uh, the, the Megalodon and see what like it's actually called. Uh, at least for that thing, we could see, yep, Brano right there, easily just tells us information about it right there on the bottom left hand corner, how many stem berries you need to craft, or to tame it, 300 stem berries, tame that thing, sheesh, what about this jug bug, 300, what in the world, what about the, uh, the Brano there, no, 17,000 stem berry, <laughs> oh, that's kind of hilarious, because, you know, stem berry wakes it up, so that's, that's funny, regular berries, 1340, Miho berries is, uh, how much? 894 sweet vegetable cake 1340 regular just vegetables you know rock roots uh, citronals sav roots 670 exception if i want to tame this thing i need 67 exceptional kibble approximately give or take so <laughs> that is crazy i need almost a thousand miho berries to tame that thing oh my gosh jeez <laughs> That is crazy. Okay, so now that now that we have the awesome spyglass, kind of want to get on my uh, Tyranon, fly above the water, go above one of those megalodons, and definitively figure out like what is it actually called? Primal, Alpha, Apex? What is it? I don't care which uh, Tyranon we're on. It just as long as we're okay. Here we go. Here we go. There's one like basically Primal. Okay, so it is Primal with 87 million health, not tameable. So if I did just stab it with my uh my 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 primal pike or whatever it do no torpor but that level 280 megalodon 14,000 torpor if i want to knock it out is that just a regular one i assume so it looks green but it's dead now huh so if i wanted to knock that thing out i might be able to do that with my pike easily so yeah myth busted uh there is right there primal megalodon 16 million health what the other one have like 70 Something crazy? Maybe I'm just thinking like huge. Yeah, 80, almost 90 million health on that level 840. Jeez, what are the other stats? 630,000 stamina, 109,000 pounds of carry weight, 715% uh, melee damage, but that's not really telling us much. 120% movement speed, 5.7k oxygen. <laughs> Man, those stats are just out of this world. Now, what about that Thylacolio? Like, what? And the Basilisk? Where's that? Ba there it is right there, Basilisk. Oh, it's a primal Basilisk! So that was a primal Thylacolio that just attacked us, like, earlier in this episode, last episode, whatever it is by now? There it is right there. Yep, primal Thylacolio, 124,000 Torpor. I need an instant golden kibble to tame it. What? Whoa. 100,000 health, level 812. Crystal up here hasn't regen just yet, or respawned, or whatever. So that kind of sucks. I guess I have to go somewhere else to get more crystal, huh? Man, these stats are crazy. What about that's just a regular di Diplodocus? What about that thing? Is that the Alpha Gotcha? What? 
Is that really? Oh, it, whoa, it is! From, uh, Extinction, the little, little craters that grow- Oh, it just disappeared into another dimension, okay. What about that Primal Arthur for us? Sheesh. Okay, if we see that weird effect above something, we need to watch the heck out.